up everybody welcome back to another wig wednesdays it's been a long time since i've done a wig and if you've seen the previous wig wednesday that i did probably a month or two ago i think it was maybe two months ago i simply said that i cannot do wig wednesdays without loving a wig i can't do it they had the braids cynicalese twist wigs mm. Mm, no, mm -mm. they you have to wear the wig, you know, I I'm buying it So I have to wear the wig and I'm not going to send it send it back 20% uh, Stocking fee. No, not gonna do that Then I have to sell it because I don't really like it and I just wanted to do a wig review mm, Nope, not gonna do that. So when I do my wig Wednesdays, it's because I actually recommend how well and how much I love the wig like the one I'm wearing right now this is what I am wearing right now I can't just buy any wig just to buy any wig I have to love the wig and that that's just how I am this is how my page run the wig that I am presenting to you guys today is simply sensational and this is her name her name is Italian curl and I got her in a TB 30 T1B 30 Okay, now I was a little bit, this is part of the, the custom stocking cap. And you know what, I have to say this is the most comfortable cap you'll ever feel. It's not too loose, it's not too tight on your head, and the lace is really, really invisible once you cut it the right way. Now, I'm going to show you all the, the, the stocking cap wigs from Sensational actually are constructed the same way. Uh, you have, this is the old one that I have. This is the wet and wavy one. Uh, so you have the two combs in the front right here. And then you have a comb in the back. And then you have the whole stocking cap. Now they have little tabs on the side. Tabs right here. Literally all the way down by your ear. They're very small. They're probably half an inch. Very tiny. You really don't know that they're there. So you don't really use it that much. So, but I do, oh my gosh, I love the stocking cap structure on there because it's stretchy. Right now, my hair is not even braided because I actually took out my braid so I can wash it. So, but I had to make this review for you guys because it's been a long time since Wig Wednesday. Now, what I presented to you guys, the whole time that I've been actually getting the sensational stocking cap wigs, I've been getting a 1B slash 27 or 30. Now, we all know Sensational is colorblind when it comes to certain colors. Like, this looks exactly like a 27. So, imagine a 27. It's going to be really bright. So, yes, this is a 30. A 30. And it's this bright. Now, uh, I don't know why they colorblind because their twos look like fours. Their fours look like twos. And it's just really annoying. But that's why I'm here. Sensational is always a shade lighter or darker it's just really weird the way that they do their coloring so yes this is a 30 so if you're not into the really bright bright blonde and you're looking for kind of like a nice little honey not even a honey blonde like an autumn blonde then 30 is what you will definitely like so this is the hand tied part now the thing about sensational and these sock and cap wigs is that the parting is so close. The only one parting that I didn't have to do much to was the straight one that I did, the Yaki 27 or Yaki 30. I think it was Yaki 30. And I didn't have to do anything to the part at all. Okay, so this one, which is the part from and Wavy, as you can see, I plucked it really, really well. Now with this one, it's the lace is totally different. The lace is a lot softer than the other laces that I've cut from the stocking cap collection. Actually with this lace here, it's a lot softer. So when I was plucking the part, I noticed that the lace was ripping. So you have to be really, really careful when you're plucking with this wig cap because the lace is a lot softer than the other ones. Okay, so here are some pictures of, this is actually the aftermath. I should have said that earlier. This is the aftermath. So I'm going to show you all the pictures of what it looked like when I took it out of the box because I did have to fix it. Sometimes when you get curly wigs from any brand, you do have to fix it most of the time. But I notice when it comes to sensational, I always kind of have to fix it. So with this wig, 
it has two types of curls that I've noticed. If you're gonna get, uh, if you're gonna get a color, make sure you blend because there are two different tracks. You have the top track and then you have the bottom track, which is all blonde or all, you know, red because they have different colors as well. So this is the one that I have right here. Not there you go, right there. You see that color? It's even darker on the picture, but it looks nothing like that in person. It's a lot lighter than that. But uh, so yes, so you do have to fix it up because this is the top curl. And the other now the other videos that I've done with sensational stocking cap, I was complaining about where the placement of the full color tracks were. The full color tracks are so visible on the side. You see? right here so with this one I guess they've been seeing my reviews because I told them at least kind of bring down the track so when we lift it up it's not gonna be so bad you see track a lot lower before it was st it stopped right here now they're a little bit down here so thank you sensational for putting the color a little bit lower this time because the track starting like right here you can't bend back okay so those are pretty much the pros, how gorgeous the curls are. The curls are gorgeous, really gorgeous. I combed them, I finger combed them out, it down like a V shape, like the picture that I'm about to show you. So I'm going to show you all the pictures of what it looks like before I fixed it all up. As you can see, there's two different curl patterns. It actually looks like instant noodles, dry noodles. So I had to finger comb it. And here I wanted to show you the way that it was cut. It was really thick. It didn't look like it fit. So I cut it down in a V shape for it to have a natural layers in my hair. Here you can see that the part is non-existent. So I put it on my wig cap. Uh, on my wig head and then I just plucked it in the middle as you can see now it's so, yeah, open so and now I can put my after. concealer on. I like on. it more because as you can see right here it's not so bulky. A lot of times when they put that dead track it really has no no cut, no indentation, there's no layering, it's just a straight track. So that's pretty much what they did. So I had to actually fix it. As you can see it's totally different from the picture that I showed you. Everything pretty much came flat right here it looks like it was cut across like a blunt cut across so I just simply put on my wig head and I cut it down in a V and once you cut it down in the V it literally gives its own shape it gives its own layers and it gives its own sexiness so yeah so this is how I wanted it to look okay so the pros is gorgeous and all that stuff and the cons like I told you you have to fix it up you have to fix the the part and of course you don't have any lace so if you're going to have that wind blowing, yeah, you're going to have the, mm -hmm. you got to put those edges down. This is what the part looks like. You see, it's a very, very realistic part. Like I said, the lace is totally different. Even though the lace on the previous wigs that I bought last year, and I believe this year too, uh, they were invisible. But this one is a lot softer. So be careful when you're plucking it, okay? And also... Of course, I'm always going to complain about some type of shedding. I actually was just, this is before I cut the lace. And the lace is literally this small. So there's no reason for it to shed after cutting the lace. But I simply was soft combing it and it sheds a lot. So she's a shedder. Okay, she is a shedder. All right, so she sheds. So if you are going to dinner, make sure that you finger comb it before you go in. Okay, and I'm, yes, yes, Italian curl. Oh, and I am loving her. She is so vibracious. She's big, but not too big once you cut her down. See, I cut her down, so imagine if I left it, it's going to be like Diana Ross big. But this is just so sexy. Love these curls. She feels really soft. Once you finger comb her, she feels a little bit more realistic. But when you first get it, it does feel like synthetic hair. But once you finger comb it out, it feels so soft. So I'm going to show you the back of her.
So yes, ladies, so this is the Italian Curl by Sensational, the stocking cap. And I've already wore this like two days in a row and I'm in love with this hair. Put some sunglasses on, put some red lipstick on and your day is over. It's over before it even begins because you're giving people life with these curls. It's gorgeous, just waking up type of curls. Like this, this is like my lazy morning sexy hair. That's just what it is. And then it's gonna turn into my Zumba wig after a while. Cause that's that's what I that's what I normally do with my hair. Once they get old, you use it for other reasons. You use it as a headband wig, or you wear it as a Zumba wig, workout wig. So that's my thing. I was turning into like a Zumba hair for my workouts. All right, ladies. So that is your wig Wednesdays with sensational custom stocking cap and this is Italian curls ladies men this is it like you thought Penny and Garnett what well, this is like the three bitches of wigs Garnett Penny and Italian curl that's all I have to say and that's it all right guys thank you so much for watching my wig Wednesdays and I'll see you soon